Hi, Good. I like your background. Yeah, great. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I like y'all's background too. <laughs> <Thank you>. uh, <laughs> um, so the novel is such a sensation, like millions of people all over the world obsessed with it and the character of Kaya. For you, Daisy, how did you connect with her when you were becoming her? I think, you know, it's, I, I think the reason that she resonates was to such a wide audience is that there's a little bit of Kaya in all of us. And I think, you know, what I love about her is that she's a complex person. You know, she isn't just one thing. She is incredibly strong and resilient, but she's also very gentle and curious and misunderstood. And so I, I think I just, I felt like she was a real person and going through an extraordinary circumstance and situation. And and I found her very inspiring in many ways, her, her resilience and her ability to to bounce back and survive and thrive. Um, yeah, I just, I felt like she was a real person. Yeah, I love that. And speaking of our wonderful backgrounds, uh, the film is so gorgeous, you know, and so much of it take, take, taking place outside in nature. Um, Taylor, did you feel like you were becoming one with nature? Could you metaphorically hear the crawdad sing? Uh, um, absolutely. It's it's funny. You can't um, you, you can't really understand it until you're there and experience it. There's like a thickness in the air. Um, the cicadas just making like this crazy, crazy sound. The toads and the frogs like um, croaking in the distance, the rolling thunder. And then um, just being in the estuaries and in the bayous and seeing all the critters run around, you're kind of like soaked into it a little bit. And it definitely helped our performances for sure. And I think when people go see it in cinemas, they're going to feel that. Absolutely. When I was watching the theater, I felt I felt immersed. <laughs> um, and I loved the collecting of, you know, the, the training back and forth of the feathers it was like such a like a beautiful connection between the two of you. But I must know, uh, Daisy, how many feathers ended up accumulating on set? And did you take any home? Oh, that's a trivia question I should know the answer to. I would say <laughs> more than... 300? No. Yeah. Oh my God. I might be exaggerating. No, because your, your shack was lined with them. There was a large amount. I lost about 40 of them. <laughs> there were lots. And what, what was the second question? Sorry. I was just saying, like, did you take any, uh, either of those home or any of the, you know, memorabilia? Do you know, well, we were told that, you know, that, that we might have reshoots. So we weren't, we weren't able to, but I now, like, I hope I can maybe get my hands on some of the artwork because it was so mm. beautiful. Kirby, who did our... Um, artwork is so talented and yeah I'd love like there were some drawings of mushrooms that I grew particularly fond of that I'd love to have framed and put in my house so maybe yeah maybe those yeah. I would absolutely buy all of Kaya's books because those the artwork was amazing so <laughs> I agree with you um Taylor so obviously there is a big uh murder mystery uh, at the center of this story so without spoiling um <laughs> when the like when the either the script starts the book starts i don't know what you first read what did you think did you think that kaya could have done it um i think there's a couple people that could have done it based on and when you watch the movie as well there's a there's a few moments where you start to question your own idea of, of who did it or who could have done it um and even till the very very i mean the last scene of the movie when i was reading that that scene in the book i was like for sure knew who it was and then i uh i was pleasantly surprised Mm, yeah, same, same. I'm so same. <laughs> uh, finally, Daisy, what uh, what are other novels like Crawdads that inspire you? Well, that's a great question. Oh, I'm trying to think. I I love well, I love stories with with strong heroines. You know, mm -hmm. like like that. You know. Um, like I love Little Women, um, you know. I grew up reading that, but I love you know those the, the, those characters are so uh, we're all so fond of them for for you know for for a reason, and uh, you know, and I love all Jane Austen's heroines are often very like fierce, and so yeah, yeah. I love that, and uh, now Kaya and you will be in that echelon. So thank you guys <laughs> so much. Thank you. Of course, thank <laughs> you. With you.